Hi guys, it's Danny from Headway Feed Made Easy and today we're going to look at the four preset templates that Headway comes built in with now as well as how easy it is to actually um, use a background image for your blog if you want to, you know, um, make it a little bit more visually appealing and again, all without coding. So the first thing you need to do is go into the visual editor and once you're inside that, if you swap over to where it says styles and design across, across here and just open that box up and pop over to styles you'll see that you've got, these are the four preset, Magazine, Feeling Blue, Cream and Sky. These four styles can preset with the new headway. This one at the end here, Danny Blog, I'll explain what that is in a sec, um, but this is where you can upload your own styles as well to really make, you know, designing a blog or a website very, you know, very fast and easy. Um, so just to, just before I go into that, I'm just going to get rid of this header for a sec, um, and this will show you the, the different templates a little bit better. So let's just delete the, the header and we'll get rid of that. So there we go, you've just got the standard font for Headway Test Site. So now that that done, and let's go back up to Styles and Designs. So as you can see, like I mentioned, you've got Magazine, Feeling Blue, Cream and Sky. These are the four templates that come pre-built with, uh, with Headway, as well as the standard Headway template, which is a fairly basic one. So if you want to swip, uh, see what the Magazine one looks like, you just click on that, and then Load Style. And the great thing is, as this mentions here, are you sure loading a style will allow you to see the style, but the new style will not be applied unless you click the Save All Changes button? So you can see what your blog's going to look like without actually changing it, which is quite pretty handy. Um, so that's okay. Let's just load the magazine style, and what you can see there is it gives you a, a sort of um, it's more like a Georgia font or a Times New Roman font. It's a, a, a kind of a newspaper look. Uh, changes the text and changes the headers and the, the colours of the, the search bar. Um, so that gives you an idea of what, um, say you were you were doing a, a sort of news style kind of blog. Uh, that's what the, the magazine style would look like for you. The feeling blue one, um, if you go to load style of the feeling blue, uh, and you can see the, the changes this makes. So what this does, it gives you a kind of inside the, the box feel for the nav bar and the actual blog area while the header itself is outside. Let's just narrow that down a bit. So you can see that you'd have your header outside the, the main box area and everything else inside there. So that's quite a cool little effect. And the cool thing with that is you can adjust the colours as well. So you can set, if you like this, this layout but you don't particularly like the colours for instance, you can just drop in there um, and amend the colours accordingly. Um, but with, let's have a look at the cream one and load the style of the cream one and again you can see the, the little changes that it makes so it goes back to a darker area for the nav bar but it gives you a nice little sort of cream background here you know it's just like a really light blog and this might be perfect for say um, a photography blog where you want the background to be fairly you know um, it doesn't take away from what you're having in front of you. So if you've got a bunch of images here and you've got a light background, the images on your blog area will stand out a lot sharper. So that's the cream one. And the sky one, let's just load the sky up. It'll help if I click load style. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, so you click load sky up. And again, this is quite a nice one as well. It's a, a, a light, fresh colour. Uh, you've got the curves that we set up on the the header in a previous um, video, uh, a nice easy nav bar and light coloured links and you know a, a pretty good looking little little um, style for your blog. Um, now the Danny blog, this is actually from my dannybrown.me blog. Um, this is the the blog here, and if you want to like take the style of a blog you've already designed and you know t transfer it over to a new one. Um, it's really easy to do. Once you're inside the, the visual editor, if you go up to tools and export and it asks you what you want to export, do you want to export styles or leaf templates and again I'll look at this further in a future video but I want to export styles so I would choose which one I want to export and it's the Danny blog. I'd already saved the design and everything of this as Danny blog and I would just basically export style. Once you click that button, it downloads to your computer's hard drive, and all you would do then on the new blog, let's just flick over, is you go to Tools and Import, and if you go to Import, again, you can import styles, so you just click there, and it will ask you what you want to import, so you would browse, you would find where you've downloaded the style to, and upload it. Once you've uploaded it, it then appears in your style sidebar. So if I want to load the, the style for my blog that I've got here, let's just load style, 
and you can see what it does, it changes the fonts and the layout completely. You've now got the, because I've got um, a, a custom header over, uh, over at my own blog, this is shortened down, but you can see that the little pixel width that I've got in there, the grey nav bar details, the um, italic font for the headers, the red links, etc. Everything has been transferred up here. And it just makes it a really fast process to get a, you know, a style of a blog up and running quickly. So that's the different styles. And as I mentioned, it's really easy to upload a, a background image as well if you want to look at a background image. So if I wanted to go and upload a background image, um, I would go to my site dimension. No, I wouldn't. I go to my styles and design. Sorry about that. Uh, look at background and body background image. So it can tell me here I want to upload background image. Yes, I do. So just go to browse, let's select this one here, click open and it will upload for you and then there you go, you've now got a background image uh, for your blog and obviously this is perfect if you want to say have a, a blog that shows you in a sidebar or some contact details or anything like that and you can choose between tiling, tiling horizontally, tiling vertically or no tiling whatsoever. Um, so there you go guys, that's a look at the preset templates that are already built into Headway as well as how easy it is to upload a background image. This has been Danny from Headway Free Made Easy and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.